It is afterburn review time once again here in the Spicicus household. Today, another pepper courtesy of Alan Cole, who got it from Jim Duffy over at Refining Fire Chilies. Click the link in the description down below. This is the mini paprika, otherwise known as the mini vizina paprika. It's about uh, two to three inches in length, roughly seven centimeters for this one. Uh, it can obviously get longer in length. But the cool thing about this is all of this threading right here. I'll come to the camera. Look at that right there. All of that what we call threading or corking feels like cantaloupe skin a little bit too. And you can see here a little bit of a stinger at the end. Half red, half green, so it can stay a little longer on the plant. But uh, there you have it. So let's cut this in half here. Looks like a bunch of seeds in here. So there's what the insides look like. Don't know if the camera can really pick all that up here. But that's what the inside look like. Whole bunch of seeds. Really cool looking too on the inside. Again, you have the red on the bottom and the green on the top here. So let's give this a shot. Oh wow. It starts with a sweetness, but has the kick of maybe a jalapeno. As you can tell, the corking, that threading on the outside, completely edible. It's nice and crunchy too. The heat mostly stays a little bit on the tip of the tongue, maybe on the side of the mouth but very pleasurable at best. It's nothing too overwhelming. It's trying to intensify just a little bit in the mouth as well. But overall this is a very very delicious pepper. Use this in maybe a salsa, tacos, just throw it in a burger. Multiple multiple uses for this. I would say heat wise you're looking maybe for me at around a two and a half to a three. It's actually got some decent kick on there if you just let it keep going. But, uh, you know, the strongest a chili has will just probably be popping these and wanting to use these as maybe mini paprika poppers, for, for example. That would just be a nice little snack, especially for game time or whatnot. I wonder if it can actually do that. Now I'm really curious. Now I'm really curious on that. But that's pretty much all there is to it on this particular pepper. There's not too much more to it. The look is really what sells this one. It's also got, again, like I said, great flavor. A lot of sweetness at the beginning mixed in with maybe a little bit of a jalapeno peppery flavor to it. And otherwise, just a fantastic, fantastic chili. So did you like the look of that mini paprika? Did you want to get one? Perhaps uh, Jim, Jim is selling seeds or something like that. Click the link in the description below. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and comment below. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and all that other fun stuff, so check me out there. That's all for this Afterburn review, guys. Embrace that pain, and I'll see you in the next video.